Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevia with Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're going to be making una coca de tomate. This is the perfect dish for any type of party or family get together. Now, cocas are kind of similar to pizza, except they usually don't have cheese and they're served as an appetizer. This dish is a lot of fun to make and it's easier than you think. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our dough. I've got one third cup of lukewarm water here. It's at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna add it to a medium sized bowl. Now we'll add one teaspoon of active yeast and we'll mix it together. And after letting our water and yeast rest for about five minutes, let's go ahead and get one cup of all purpose flour and let's add it to the bowl. We'll also add half a teaspoon of white sugar, one teaspoon of sea salt, and about one tablespoon of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. And let's mix it all together. And after stirring this for about three to four minutes, you can see we already have a nice doughy consistency. Let's grab some flour, put it on a flat surface, grab our dough and let's throw it on top. And now let's begin to knead it. Okay, and after kneading our dough for about three to four minutes, let's go ahead and form it into a ball. We'll grab our bowl that we used earlier. Grab about one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil and just put it inside of the bowl. Grease it up with your hand. We'll put our ball of dough inside and we'll cover it with some saran wrap. Okay, while we wait for our dough to rise, let's start cutting our vegetables for our tomato sauce. Let's get started with the garlic. And we'll finally mince them. Next, we'll grab an onion and finely dice it. And for our last vegetable, we're gonna grab one green bell pepper and finely dice it. Okay, once we have all our vegetables cut up, let's go ahead and grab a small frying pan and turn on our fire to a medium heat. And let's add two tablespoons of pine nuts to the pan. And after toasting our pine nuts for about three minutes, let's go ahead and turn off the fire and let's add them to a bowl. And now we can get started with our tomato sauce. So let's go ahead and grab a medium sized frying pan and turn our fire to a medium heat. We'll add about three tablespoons of extra virgin Spanish olive oil to the pan. And once our oil gets hot, let's go ahead and add our two minced garlics. And after 20 seconds, after adding our garlic, and you can already smell that fragrance, let's go ahead and add our diced onion. In about four minutes after adding our onion, let's go ahead and add our diced green bell pepper to the pan. Okay, in about five minutes after we added our green bell peppers to the pan, let's go ahead and grab two cups of tomato puree and add them to the pan. We'll add half a teaspoon of white sugar, one teaspoon of sea salt, and our toasted pine nuts. And let's mix it all together. And once you have everything well mixed, let's go ahead and lower our fire to a low heat. Now let's go back to our dough and let's take off the saran wrap. As you can see, it's already rised. Let's add some flour to a flat surface and let's throw our dough in there. And let's start kneading it a little bit. And after kneading our dough for about 20 seconds, let's go ahead and grab a roller and let's start rolling our dough. And as I'm rolling out the dough, I'm not gonna be making a circular shape. I'm gonna go more for of a rectangular shape. Okay, now that I have my dough rolled out, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a baking tray. This is a disposal one. It's 12 inches by six inches. I'm gonna put it above the dough. Now I'm just gonna lightly press on the edges. And this will give me the exact size of dough that I need for this coca de tomate. Now I'll take it off. And now you can see the design here of the baking pan that I'm using. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the outer edges with a paring knife. We'll grab some parchment paper, add just a little bit of extra virgin Spanish olive oil, and we'll add our dough on top of the parchment paper. Now we'll add our dough with the parchment paper on top of the baking tray. Okay, now we're gonna grab our tomato sauce that we have cooking and we're gonna put it on top of the dough. So let's go ahead and turn off our fire and let's start adding it into the baking tray. And once you're done evenly distributing the tomato sauce, let's go ahead and add this to the oven. I've had it preheating at 210 degrees Celsius, which is about 410 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're gonna leave this in the oven between 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes since we put our coca inside of the oven, so let's go ahead and take it out. And we'll take our coca out of the oven, and we'll let it rest here till it reaches room temperature. And about 20 minutes after taking our coca out of the oven, let's go ahead and take it out of the baking dish. Now let's run a spatula underneath the coca and the parchment paper. 
Now we'll slide our coca de tomate into a cutting board and take off the parchment paper. And using a pizza cutter, we're gonna cut it in one inch by one inch squares. Now we'll garnish our cutting board with some fresh parsley. And we'll put some toothpicks on the side so people can easily grab a piece of the coca. And there's our finished dish of una coca de tomate. If you enjoyed today's video on making una coca de tomate, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.